Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. I am going to do the next three reviews today. I'm going to be th Vocations three new beers. There is a um, sour IPA, there is a coffee and vanilla a stout, and what I'm going to do is their new pale ale, well, pale, and it is Monomania 431. And this is a 5.7% um, pale ale with HBC 431 hops. It says that there. Okay, and it also says 5.7 on the back there. There's a load of guff on the back, but I'm not going to read it here because, quite frankly, it's small writing and my eyes ain't what they used to be. Um, I ordered these yesterday morning. Yesterday morning? Yeah, Thursday morning. And they turned up today at quarter past 11. Um, best before this one is the 8th of February 22. I um, like that label. I like these labels that that vocation's doing. Showing off the, uh, the the hop. The last couple of beers I've, I've had that in. The uh, first eclipse certainly did. I... Um, I think the the uh, the one I did last week I can't remember what it was called. Um, oh, the total uh, Rowaka that certainly had sort of a hop design on the front. Anyway, there it is, three hundred thirty mil can, three two pounds thirty I think it is on the website. I'll put the link in below. Let's pop it top. Let's see what we've got going on. Now I have had HBC four three one hop before. I've had it in one of the. Um, Lost and grab him. So the Han hops, and um, friends, Romans and countrymen. I'm not sure which one it was, but it's certainly one of them. And I think I enjoyed it. Anyway, let's get it in and see what vocation I've done with it. Okay, so beer in a glass. What have we got? Hazy uh, orange beer. Thing and a half. Daz white head. A little bit soupy on one side, a little bit densely compact towards the bottom, towards the bottom of the beer. That looks really nice. No floaters in it. That looks good. Let's get the old snod stuck in and see what we can smell. Let's go for it. Stone fruits, apricots, peaches, that type of stuff. A little bit of tropical. Aroma is going on. A little bit of mango, papaya, that type of stuff. Right, it looks quite nice. Smells quite good. Looks quite good with the body of the carb. Cheers. Light bodied. Light to medium carbonation. Um, it's not, it's not bad, it's not got a lot of bad mouthfeel to it. Let's go for the old big, big taste. Cheers. There's an earthiness to this beer, that's what gets you first of all. It's, it's very earthy. There's a um, there's a, herb, a herbal feel to it as well. And on the back end, it goes a little bit juicy, it goes a little bit sweet from a, a sort of a, a ripe a peachy apricot sweetness and then it goes into a little bit of a tingle of, of, of bitter. It's very nice. I bought two of these um, so I'm going to throw this one down my neck and I'm going to go and enjoy the other one. Well this is lovely. That earthy, minerally opening is 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 is, is great. Um, normally, it's, it's, you you normally get a sort of a fruity thing to start off with, but you don't. That that goes to the back end, so you can be first to be around. Um, but earthy, it's definitely peaches and apricots, and then there is as but it, to be fair, what's built up now is a, a nice light, bitter, dry finish. It's decent. Decent. Cheers. So, if you've had this beer, Monomania four three one by Vocation, let me know what you think. Please put a little comments in the comments box below. I will put a link to the Vocation sites also below. Um, like I say, it's it's buttons cheap, 
and it's worth the money. I think it was two pound thirty. It's worth the money. Um, again, it's one of these beers I can see sat on a shelf in a, in a Tesco, um, and it's sitting there quite happily. Um, <laughs> so there you go. So, do I like it? Yes. <coughs> would I buy it again? Yes. I would recommend it to friends. Yes, I would. Um, thumbs up like the video. Thumbs up if you don't subscribe. Down there, the usual. Keep okay, and I'll see you in the next one. Hello.